Hi guys, today a vlog about a different car, uh, a BMW 330e. I got this car as a loaner from the BMW dealership as my own one series is in there for an MOT and, uh, and a small service. So they handed me this 330e, which is a hybrid uh, car with a small electric engine and a four cylinder petrol engine included. Well, as you can see, there's no consumption. So currently I'm driving on the electric motor. And as I start to accelerate, it's still on electric. Somewhere there, the petrol engine kicks in. I've only been driving this car for a few kilometers now. So I'll come back to you later with, uh, with a small update. So just a small update on the BMW 330e. I haven't been driving it for an awfully lot of kilometers now, uh, 43 in total. And what I didn't notice because partially I was driving electric, but you can see here that the um, battery is basically empty, but still it regenerates by uh, a bit when you brake or when you just let the car roll. So. There sometimes is some energy, so I can drive small portions electric. Uh, if you compare it here, here you have the, the fuel tank and you can see it's uh, it's full. So uh, it took me a while to figure that one out. Uh, let's see what we have more here. Um, yeah, the average consumption I've been having now is 7.6 liters on 100 kilometers. Although I think it ain't fair to, um, uh, it isn't making a fair comparison as I've been driving uh, in town a lot. And of, of course, obviously the battery is, uh, isn't full. So, and with a full fuel tank, you'll drive around 500 to 550 kilometers. So, although I don't have an uh, accurate impression of the fuel consumption, I wonder quite for daily driving if that's uh, fair enough, this, uh, this range. Because when I'm driving towards my workplace, I do that three times a week. I'm driving 200 kilometers uh, one trip, so 400 in total. Uh, and that would mean basically every time I'm going to uh, to my work, I'd have to fuel up, which is about two to three times a week. While in my 116D, I only fuel up once uh, once a week. Anyhow, uh, some different, uh, more impressions. I've been driving the, this generation of uh, 3 Series. I think it's a G, G20, the G20 3 Series. I've been driving, uh, driving for a small uh, trip, a 320D also. Uh, so it isn't the first time I'm driving this, uh, this kind of vehicle. But uh, yeah, my impression is I feel don't feel from a quality perspective like it's a leap from the previous generations 3 series maybe it's been too long uh since i drove the f30 uh, generation that's a previous one built from 2012 to 2019 or 20 i'm not uh, not really sure uh, and the build quality with that car wasn't that much worse. Uh, I think it's comparable, maybe even slightly better. And I also noticed this difference between the one series F20, which I'm driving and the G, I think it's a G40, but please correct me if I'm wrong. The current generation one series, it's also isn't such a big leap uh, compared to the older one. And what I have to get used to big time is the screen and everything within the screen uh, and the, the whole setup and layout. I prefer the old layout basically, but I think I mentioned it uh, also when doing a short review of the F, uh, F20, no, the G41 series. But yeah, it's, it's still fun to drive. And if you just put your foot down, you can notice this car has, uh, has quite a lot of power. So, so that's okay, uh, I guess. The build quality here in the interior, I'll just show you a bit around. It has leather in the, I think those are the sport seats indeed. If I just show you around here, um, yeah, the build quality is, is, is fine. Like the, the silver linings here uh, within the buttons. So, and it feels here, if you just turn this knob, it really feels fine uh, and, uh, and premium like. So 
the build quality is okay of the of this generation uh, 3 series but this one uh, the facelift of this series is just out which alters the layout quite a bit I think you don't have this joystick anymore you have just a button to select uh, gears and there yeah there's quite a few small differences uh, within this generation but to conclude yeah I, I do like the, the car <laughs>